Welcome back everybody to episode 2 of Elengrat and yeah we're on the same day I've just literally finished cultivating the fields and yeah plowing the fields so those are two are done what I need to do is take that back the, the ridgy track was struggling a wee bit with it but it managed to get the field done and the fence was performing admirably with the, the cultivator just put the lemkin cultivator over there for a clean we'll do that later but I've got the fertilizer spray spreader on the back of the ridge track ready to do the fields what I've decided to do is if we go into here so obviously field six has been plowed now now what I was thinking was uh, I will put a layer of fertilizer on that uh, that will give it two fertilizing states yep and then what we can do then is uh, put um, cover crop in and then that will give it its three and with this this has been cultivated so I can put a flare fertilizer on that uh, and then a cover crop in and then that will be on its third fertilizing state as well uh, so planting wise yeah like I said we're on that first day so yeah hopefully yeah it should tick over and then what I'm going to plan to do I think we're going to put wheat uh, wheat in the first in field six and I think we'll put uh, barley in the other one um, and see see where we go from there uh, right so first things first I need to take this back um, to I need to take that back to the stores so we'll jump in that and what I'm going to do as well is I need to uh, fill this up with seed as well while we're down there so may as well do two things at once so I'll just head down the road and we'll get this done so just pull into the stores here like I said we'll drop off the plough Subsoiler, stroke ripper, whatever you want to call it. Just park that there. So I'll return that. There we go. And what we need to do is get some fertilizer. Uh, sorry, some seed. So what I've got installed in here is. Here we go. Is this is the mod by Quiet Hitman? A uh, really great mod, and yeah, we get that, and then that will do us a while. So, I'll jump in the fence, and I'll have to come and pick the rest of that up later, I think. up so yeah plan for this episode is to get the cover crop in uh, and then what we'll look at after that is potentially looking at doing some forestry up at uh, the top pasture um, we'll see how the time goes though because yeah I've got quite a bit to do with this uh, and yeah we'll see where we get so that's that filled. So I'm just going to head back up to the farm. Next time you see me, uh, we'll be down at uh, the fields and we'll give them a fertilise. And then from there, yeah, we'll get some cover crop in. So we'll see you probably, uh, let me think. Yeah, probably field four first. Uh, we'll get that done. Okay, so I will head down to I'll head down to the field with the ridge track and we'll get fertilizing. Fantastic. So, just down to field 4 and yeah, we'll get a 
we'll get fertilizer on this. So this is a 24 meter spread this so it's not too bad. So right there should do it. So uh, nice wide spread on this fertilizer spreader and yeah hopefully it shouldn't go through the fertilizer too quickly but yeah it should make fairly short work of this field hopefully. So yeah I'm gonna I recorded a couple of these episodes just back to back just to get it get it started uh, and like I said I'm not going to do a huge amount behind the scenes just because yeah the last let's play I did a uh, little Norton uh, which I'm still doing actually you can check out the episodes um, the yeah there's a lot of setup time in between <laughs> each episode uh, just because it was quite narrative driven and yeah I wanted to sort of develop the storyline quite a lot so lots of jumping between different things and multiple maps and all sorts of stuff so certainly worth a watch uh, yeah certainly worth checking it out um, but yeah it did take up an enormous amount of time um, so yeah what I intend to do with this is just kind of like go back to basics a little bit and just uh, yeah, just do a little bit on each episode uh, and play it not almost real time but yeah majority of it's done um, you can yeah you can see most of the work getting done all the time and um, there's not really any sort of stuff behind the scenes uh, partly because I'm going back to work um, very soon so I'm not going to have a great deal of time to do lots of lots of sort of messing about and getting things sorted uh, so yeah what I when I'm playing the game I'll just record a bit and then away we go but yeah we'll we'll see how we get on having said that I'm gonna crack on with this uh, next time well once we cut cut to the next bit I'll finish this field and uh, yeah we'll be uh, fertilizing or finishing fertilizing the other field so we'll see you in a few seconds okay just coming up to the final run on this field so almost done and then, like I said, we'll move on to the next next field. Uh, we'll go and get uh, the one down at the pallet pallet yard, uh, pallet factory done. Uh, so just zoom in a little bit. Okay, wait for these cars. Okay, put some uh, beacons on. Yep. And then yeah, we'll just head down this way. Once I've done that, I will get the bird, uh, the, the seed route, uh, and we'll go and seed uh, the field I've just fertilised. And then after that, I'll need to check. I can't remember whether. I can't remember whether cedar is a direct drill I don't think it is so that means we'll have to also cultivate this field as well uh, which is fine um, traffic's fairly slow it's out for a Sunday drive there we go Okay, come back out again. Now, we should fertilize, there we go. Now, it won't take long to fertilize this field because it is pretty small. Like I said, it is kind of a test plot. Um, other fields that we might purchase in the future, there are there are a few that I've got my eye on, um, but we really just don't have the funds just now for it. Um, we'll have to have to earn some money first. And the only way we're going to do that really is 
bale, grass bales, grass, grass uh, products. So I think we're going to have to yeah invest in a, a bit of time doing some silage runs, and uh, we'll certainly have to look at yeah getting some uh, pellets through this pale, uh, pellet factory as well. Because looking at it, uh, they're the best best ones to do at the moment. So uh, I'm making the right mess of this. One patch there, and we patch up here. Right, let's quickly check the map. Bonus, excellent, all done. Right, okay, I'm going to head back up to the yard. We'll go and drop this off, and then next job is to get the seeding done on field four so i will see you back up there probably at field four with the with the fence and we'll go and get that done right we'll see you up there fantastic so best laid plans and all that uh i wasn't really thinking um it's not warm enough to plant uh we'll see radish yet if we look at the planting uh plan of the calendar then yeah it's too cold so <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's only 3 degrees of soil temperature so we've got a fair way to go. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use the ridge track uh, and I'm going to go and cultivate the field down by the pellet factory because yeah, then it's, it's ready to have another fertilising state. What I've also done, uh, the seed caddy I've emptied and I've put fertiliser in it and yeah, that's topped up as well and what we'll do we'll use the wee electric tractor and we'll go and do some fertilizing of the grass fields I think that'll be more beneficial so what I'll do is I'm gonna go and get this done uh, I'll go and get this um, this field cultivated down there down by the pellet factory and then yeah I'll probably do a wee little time-lapse of that uh, and then what we'll do yeah, we'll come back and we'll we'll finish off with a bit of fertilising of the other fields. Yeah, wasn't thinking at all. Pretty, uh, pretty silly. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, we'll get this done, and yeah, we will see you in a little bit. Fantastic, just coming up to the end of this field then. And that's that's that cultivated. Uh, so I'll need to get another layer of fertilizer on this field um, and we'll look at getting uh, the crops in when it's warm enough. <laughs> uh, uh, never mind. So let's get that a little bit there. I'm liking that bit for some reason. So just check the field, cultivated, that's all sorted. So what we'll do, one thing with these uh, ridgy track tractors, because they're quite low slung, um, when you're in the fields the tools tend to drag in the ground a wee bit. 
just be noticing that uh, sit really low so yeah uh, right what I'll do I'll take this back over to the farm we'll go and get this uh, cleaned off because uh, we won't need it for a little while now oh, we're on uh, four wheel steering again uh, so beacon on so what we'll do we'll head back to the farm we'll get this uh, put away uh, cleaned up and then yeah we'll set on a bit of fertilizing what I might do as well is do uh, maybe a, a couple of contracts as well we'll have a look uh, once we get back up to the farm but yeah I think uh, not doing too badly we've got our field work done uh, that we wanted to and um, so said that last episode that this episode we maybe do some forestry I think it'll probably be the next episode uh, yeah times are ticking along um, so yeah maybe day two of early spring uh, we'll get some forestry done clear some space up at those top fields and then maybe plant some poplars um, and some saplings um, for the future um, because obviously trees on seasons do take a while to grow uh, so if I plant them right now right at the start of the next let's play then we've got a fine chance that they'll grow up um, incidentally the, the trees that I've planted here so these ones here weren't originally here these are alien gems placeable trees so I'll put them in there uh, and I've dotted a couple of more about down by the there's a couple down by the cow farm and there's yeah, a few down by the pallet factory as well I'm a bit annoyed with this uh, glitchy glitchy floor over here I might have to try and sort that out I might do it I might have to reinstall this or something but it's annoying me that uh, shut the door on it <laughs> uh, cool so yeah We'll get this uh, get this washed off. In fact, we keep on. Okay. Get wash. Give this a clean. And then we can give it a quick service and put that away. because uh, we won't need it for a little while. And then yeah, we'll get some fertilizing done. Okay, so now we're down uh, at the f the field uh, by the the baling fa uh, the pellet factory, sorry, and yeah, I've got the the little electric tractor, all 68 horsepower of it, linked up to these two. It looks a bit funny. It does look a bit silly. I'd, would you do that in real life? I don't think so. You probably just have the one at the back and wait on it. But it gives us 3,343 liters of fertilizer um, which should hopefully get most of our stuff done Ooh, did the wrong thing there there we go okay so into silent mode and we'll get this done it works fine with it it just looks a bit funny <laughs> uh, but yeah we'll uh, We'll get this uh, all fertilised. Try not to crash into the lake. There we go. Yeah, it's quite heavy. It doesn't want to stop with this on it. <laughs> so, but it's working. I don't know how it'll do on the hills, but we'll test that out later. Um, so. What I want to do is get this field fertilised and then after that we can go and do some fertilising of the grass fields. I'm going to do the ones around about the farm just now. I'm going to leave the ones up on the massive hill in the mountains for now because yeah it's yeah it's quite a long way to go and yeah I don't know whether we'll need all that grass just now anyway so I'll just leave leave it to leave it to do its thing just now 
Uh, I'm not going to be doing any liming or ploughing to any of these grass fields as well. Uh, I personally just don't think it's worth it. Um, it's not worth the time and investment to do that uh, for the, the, the increase in yield. I'd rather just keep it as it is. So yeah, we'll get this field finished off. There's the last pass by the looks of it. And then yeah, I'll head back over. It's very odd having a tractor that makes no noise. But it's also very cool as well. Look at that, you can't really see much. <laughs> Really big. Okay. So we'll head back up to there. I think we'll probably finish the episode there. What I was thinking was I've got a couple of sewing contracts available, so I might get those done uh, off screen, uh, which will just top our money up. Uh, that one's potatoes, so it's going to take a while. Uh, that one's not so bad. And I might use our cedar for that one as well. Uh, although, yeah, it's roughly the same size, so it doesn't make much difference. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, more field work, bits and bobs, different ways of doing it. Uh, some mistakes along the way, but never mind. Uh, put the beacon on. Uh, so yeah like i said hope you enjoyed the episode if you have enjoyed have enjoyed it then please hit that like button uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel you're more than welcome to um, and if you want to comment or share these videos please do the i will get back to you with any comments um, as soon as i possibly can and yeah in the meantime enjoy yourselves and we will see you next time for another episode in the swiss alps See you soon.